Well, the 2020 Democratic uh, fanatics have renewed their calls for reparations while kissing the ring of the Reverend Al at the National Action Network convention this week. Would you sign the bill for reparations? Yes, I would. I already support that bill. When I elect the president, I'll sign it. So absolutely, I would sign that into law. I firmly support Congresswoman Jackson Lee's bill to create a commission to study reparations. There are things that we need to do in this country that have been a long time in coming. One of those is to move forward with reparations. Here now is Michael Myers, former ACLU national board member. Now, Michael, you say that this is all a scam. Explain. Of course it is. It's, um, it's more that blame whitey movement, mania, madness, and it's sheer racial rhetoric. And that's what you get at the Al Sharpton so-called House of Justice. Uh, you have buffoonery, and you have diversion, you have distraction, you have this notion of farce. So at that House of so-called justice, you have either a, a a horror picture show showing, or you have a, sh a farce. Either way, it is not to be taken seriously. I can't understand how serious presidential contenders can give legitimacy to a racial blowhard. And I think it is outrageous and silly and idiocy on the part of the presidential candidates. And anybody who thinks that white Americans are going to take the blame or going to feel guilty or give their land and their property away in some sort of reparations pot because they feel responsibility for the sins of yeah. their forebears. They're well, not. Um, yeah, Al Sharpton uh, was also uh, trying to address the improvements in the, uh, in the economic standing of African Americans just in the last two years, and he dismissed it. Let's watch. Blacks are still doubly unemployed to whites. You know, Trump keeps saying it's the lowest black unemployment ever was. Yeah, but we're still double the whites. How do you close the race gap? How do you close the race gap in wealth? So it doesn't mean Trump could literally <laughs> cure cancer tomorrow when Al Sharpton said, yeah, but he should have done it, you know, a year ago. Like, I, it, I can't, I cannot take Al Sharpton seriously. It's, the whole racial movement is anti-intellectual. It's unintelligent. So I can't take before we but what about the, all, the, all the 2020 candidates? I mean, one well, after the other just prostrated themselves to kiss, Al Sharpton. Kissing his ring, kissing his butt. I just don't get it. If they want to be serious, they should take Al Sharpton and say, no, there's not going to be any reparations. There's not going to be any steadier reparations. Where is this reparations pot coming from? James Foreman in 1969, he went to the Riverside Church and said, we want 500 million, that's all, 500 million dollars in the reparation pot, and they want it from the white churches and the white synagogues. Well, where did that money go to? It didn't go to black people or the, or the descendants of African slaves. You know where that money goes, goes to. It goes to, to people who are hustlers, who are pimps. And I resent it, and I think it's shameless, and it's racial idiocy, and people who have sense who are intelligent must address this as such. Well, I think it, I mean, I mean, I heard a lot of people today were saying what they're doing is racist because you're actually saying the guy who just came here from uh, Serbia six months ago yeah. somehow is going to have to write a check for a Somali <laughs> refugee who came here 20 years ago. I mean, none of that makes any sense it, to most it, people. That's why I say it's unintelligent. Nobody's giving up their house. Nobody's giving up their land. Nobody's giving away acres. The 40 acres are gone. And, and nobody, not even a building is going into that, into that reparations pot. So what are they talking about? The, the, these, these people, a, you know, they are chasing farce. It's a campaign issue. This is just, this is all a power it's a grab. It's, yeah. it's, it's a total distraction. It's buffoonery. We're going to have you back, it's Michael, buffoonery. to talk about what the, yeah, we're going to have you back <laughs> to talk about what the ACLU is doing, uh, today's ACLU mm. doing in lawsuits. We're gonna, we didn't have time to do it in this segment. We will have you back because it's fascinating.